real important I get it just right. We're on safari in the Okavango River Delta in northwestern Botswana. The Okavango Delta has one of the highest concentrations of wildlife in the whole of Africa, and a lot of it is not friendly. It's a clear choice. We need to stay because they will come looking for us, and it'll be a lot easier to spot this vehicle than to spot two people out by themselves. So I think we need to stay. Oh, look, I can see smoke. I was loving so much more than the smoke. <laughs> It's moments like this that I love having a caveman husband. <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> there we go. Wow, look! Flames! OK. Flames! Very gently. Wow! Just keep on building. That's it. And we've got to sleep on a corrugated iron floor. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a bunch of grass, put down some bedding. All right. further up that way. Look, it'll catch um, fire. The bed will catch fire. If you just pull it all up that way, you can bend it over, and then be, that's a pillow section down there. I know I'm right. I'm making a lot of beds at home. OK. That's a good idea. Say it again. <laughs> that was a good idea. I didn't catch it. Let me whisper it to you. <laughs> OK. you feel so alive and awake as knowing that you're not at the top of the food chain. Okay, baby, stay close to me now. Okay. It's difficult to describe what it feels like to be walking in the middle of the African bush with only a knife and a homemade spear. Keep your spear in your left hand, okay? There you go, like that. So that way, if anything comes, from, you know, something big, use your spear with your left hand to kind of keep it at bay and try to poke it in the face, the eyes, the nose with the knife, OK? okay. I'm getting it. All right. Shh. Yeah. Yeah. So let's just stop and listen for a second. Oh. Look at that. It's a fresh kill right there. Hold on. There's a dead animal in there, and I think we should go back. I think we should all go back. I think we should go back. No, baby, listen, all right? That's a fresh kill. That's a lot of meat. We gotta get in there, cut some out, get some food, and get the heck out of Dodge. Let's but... just go. We don't need to take Honey, a risk. We're not gonna waste this opportunity. It's our first chance at real food we've had, okay? So keep an eye out. I'm gonna go take a peek. How do you know it's not just behind the bush? I don't. Just keep an eye out. Cover me. Oh, cover you? This wildebeest looks like it could be a lion kill. Lions often take a break from feeding on a fresh kill to go for water. So he's probably not far away, and he could come back at any moment. Now, sweetie, every predator within a mile of us is going to smell this kill and get awful curious. So we've got to make this quick. Shh, look at that. That's look at a that. mess. That look, it's a bit something's dragged it in here. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I want you to get in there and I want you to cut us a chunk of meat and I'm gonna pull security for you, but you gotta be quick, okay? Get your knife out. You just cut off a leg and let's go. A whole bloody leg? Yes, lift up the arm. Okay, lift up the limb. Just look around. I've I, don't, got I, can, it. I know how to. Okay. I can cut a leg off. Just look around. Oh, God. Oh. 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 I can't even get the 
knife in. It's good, baby, but hurry. I can't go any faster. I can't do it, then I can't. I'm going. I'm leaving. Okay. All right. Take my spear. Go. Take go. my spear. Take my spear. All right. All right, let's go. Come on. Don't run, don't run, don't run, don't run. All right. Walk. Yeah. Okay. I'm kind of excited. I feel like I feel like I just uh, stole a steak off a fat man's plate while he was in a restaurant and went to the latrine. I'm not ready to celebrate. Please just get back to the fire. You're right. You're right. Okay. Come on and skin this thing. <laughs> skin. That's it. This is nowhere near as tough as cutting through the skin. Yep. Just keep peeling the skin and let your knife slide right next to the skin. That's the way. Wow! Perfect. Look at Perfect. that. Look at it. It looks like a steak. This looks to me you'd get in a butcher. Can you tell I'm hungry? <laughs> that smells just like a steak. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Love I it. I am so hungry. I cannot tell you how good that is. It's like steak, and it's the best meat I've ever eaten, I think. My jaws are tired, but my belly wants more. Mm. Exactly. We're mighty happy to have wildebeest meat in our bellies, but we're not looking forward to another dangerous night in the bush. Last night, we had a pride of lion sniffing around our hooch. And tonight, with the smell of freshly cooked meat in the air, we don't know what's going to come sniffing around. It off. Wow. I mean, there's nothing. There's nothing. There's not even a bit of bone. Yeah, you see kind of tracks where they've been running around. They probably sat right out here and ate it, too. So that's why they sounded so crazy close, so loud. Yeah, we fed them. We fed some hyenas. Upside is they didn't come after us. The bad news is now we got to go out and hunt for more chow. Looky here, sweetie. Bees like to make hives in these things, and a big hive like this could mean a lot of honey, and honey would be a great source of nutrition for us. Careful, baby. African bees are notoriously aggressive, with swarms often a hundred times larger than other types of bees. They chase and attack their victims relentlessly. I get ready to run if they come after me. Don't disturb them. I'm trying not to. I can see the honeycomb, though. The best way to get honey is to smoke out the bees. The problem is that we don't have any fire with us, and we're too far from our camp to go get it. As survivors, that kind of energy is a massive payoff, but it's also a massive risk. And that's just not a risk I'm willing to take. So we're going to leave this hive alone and go back to hunting for something else. Yeah, look, bees. See the white honeycombs? is get to what they're making, which is the honey. But he's got one sting in. Nice and sweet, anyway. Brute of a bee sting, this. There's bees here. <laughs> honey. So we're going to leave this hive alone and go back to hunting for something else. 
reeds are moving there. Look, see the reeds moving with something in there. Stay away from it. See him right there. But you can barely see that. So well disguised. Oh, there he goes. Okay, bottom line, honey, that right there, even though he's dangerous, that's the size we can handle. And that would be a big meal if we can score it. As a rule, I don't take on any critters that are too big or too dangerous. Although this croc is in a 20-footer, he can still do some damage. And even a simple bite can kill me in a few days from infection. Right now, I'm in a good position because I'm behind him. It's so real important I get it just right. All right. He's very strong. He's strong. Do you want me yes, to I got him. I got him. I got him. Okay. I got him. I got him. All right. Look, it's Let's get him on the shore. Come on. All right, honey. Now that is a score. Oh, he's, he's not listening. mad. Yes, he is. That's some breakfast. Furious. Back up. Back up. Oh, that's mouth is open. Careful. Watch your fingers. Watch your fingers. I got him. I got him. What do you want this stick? Feet. Nope, we got him. We got him. Okay. All right. Get your knife out, honey. All right. Here's what I want you to do. I'm going to hold him still. Once you get your knife out and put it right here at the base of his brain. I'm going to kill it. Yeah, you're going to kill it. All right, just hold it as tight as you can. Now hammer it in and then sever it back and forth like this. Hold Sorry, his mouth, hold his mouth. Right. All right, mister, I'm sorry, but we have to eat you, so. One, two, two three. three. Ah, that's it. Oh, okay. ah, now twist it sideways, that's it. Yeah, there, got it, got it. Okay, that did it. Oh, it's still moving, it's yes. dead and it's still moving. It's yes. like a snake. Sorry, my man. Thank you for your food. And I know you know, but go ahead and use the fire to sterilize your knife before you start flipping I, it. I know this. I'm just doing a rule with him, reminding you. But I'm not a dirty beast. You know how filthy you are. I prefer a knuckle dragger. It smells like a very mild fish. You know, like a monkfish or something. Another twist, sir? These two are for sure cooked. Do you want to try those first? Yeah, I'll take the for sure cook. Serve it up, hon. That's my plate. Mmm. Wow. That's like a really delicious fish. Crocodile tail is high in protein and similar in calorie and fat content to turkey. Yeah. Kind of greasy old British fish and chips. Hmm. <laughs>